These are potential training camp darlings for the Browns from Yard Barker. Um, they go offensive guard, Javon, uh, Javion Cone. Cone, Brown's top undrafted free agent signing, a player that many believe would have been drafted. Cone, a uh, strong pass blocker in college, did not give up a sack till his senior year in Miami. Running back, Naheem Hines. Hines, a veteran, well-known, perfect kind of player to stand out in training camp. Um, has been a tremendous pass catcher out of the backfield over the course of his career. Rookie wide receiver Jamari Thrash with Amari Cooper possibly out some of training camp. There's an opportunity for more reps to be given out to the rest of the room. Thrash can win downfield and get open. He has a chance to carve out a depth role year one in Cleveland. Defensive tackle Michael Hall, young player stepping up and being a piece to build around in the middle of that defense would be big for roster building. Strong training camp from Hall could make a player like Maurice Horse. Maurice Hurst, expendable. Um, I could see all of these guys standing out, Jacob, but I, I, you know, I don't think Maurice Hurst is is going to be a guy that's expendable. But I think Michael Hall, I think he could carve out a pass rushing niche for himself. And I think with Naheem Hines and Michael Hall, I think that's exactly what they those two can do in training camp in the preseason, where Hines can be that gadgety kind of. Uh, He's a good route runner, so he can be in the slot, but he's great as a kind of releasing from the backfield and running routes outside of there. And, and you know, Kevin Stefanski has been looking for somebody that's really good at jet sweeps for a long time, and you've got that. And I think Hines will get a lot of play, a lot of run because of the injury and missing last year. So you want to try to bring him along before the season. You want him to get some, you know, get into contact, get back into the flow of things before – you know, football starts. And, and with Hall, that's exactly, that's exactly where I'm at. Uh, might not be ready to play or start in the first, you know, especially not as a run defender. And I, he's got to, I think, add a little bit of strength and work kind of on, on some of his leverage uh, in run plays. But that dude, his athletic, you should not be that good of an athlete at that size. And I think he's going to be able to go out there in situations uh in training camp where it's going to flash early and often because he's on a different level when it comes to athleticism at that size. Yeah. I'm not sure about Maurice Hurst being expendable just because I think he's shown you that in the NFL, but if he's on the bubble and Michael Hall does, you know, kind of break out and dominate in camp, it it could potentially make them consider it at least. I I don't really want that to happen because I think, you know, we've seen it in at the NFL level with Hearst. And if you've got NFL production, I'd rather go that way. But even Jamari thrash, I think is an interesting one just because he was my favorite draft pick uh, in this class, because I think his body control and his ability to get in and out of his breaks is, is ridiculous. And, he is going to get to learn from Jerry Judy and Amari Cooper, who are really great route runners. And I think he can take that to the next level, learning from those guys. And, you know, even if Amari Cooper, you know, people are talking about holdouts, maybe he misses some time. You still got to remember, Amari Cooper takes some time off in camp. I mean, the veteran rest days and things like that. There will be opportunities for these young wide receivers. And Jamari Thrash is definitely the guy – that I think comes out of nowhere just because fifth round pick, he's a rookie. You, you expect jumps from Cedric Tillman and potentially Jerry Judy coming into this new organization. But um, I really like all of those guys at, at, in terms of camp darlings. But if I had to, if I had to really just nominate one, I'm, I think it is, I think it is Michael Hall. Yeah. And again, Hall's just 21. He just turned 21. So he's a, he is a, a baby relative to his body. He is going to get bigger and stronger just because he's going to fill out because he's going to become 23 and 24. Um, but, yeah, the, the quickness and the athleticism um, on the interior of the defensive line, good luck blocking that.